Welcome back to the channel, 361 fam. If you haven't seen the description, we're gonna be replacing the lens on the gauge cluster. It's obviously scratched and kind of dingy looking and it's about the only thing in the interior that isn't in immaculate condition. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace that. Fourth uh, of July is just around the corner. So we're supporting the flags today. We got the flags on there flying and the wind came in just in time. I'm gonna be installing a couple things today. One thing I actually got on and I already did before I even put this on camera was this Rep 361 logo. I decided to go with the uh, Google icon instead of the Instagram icon because I can be found on Google now. I have enough content out there. TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, uh, YouTube, of course. Uh, I got enough stuff out there that I'm actually showing up on Google. So I said, why not? I got the front one as well. Got it recessed. Uh, it's just zip tied on for now. I just did it to see if I liked it. I love it. Uh, huge shout out to JM Graphics. JM Graphics is also providing the mod for today. What's up, girl? For those of y'all who don't know, this is Cora. She has her own Instagram page. Go and check it out. I'll link that down below as well, as well as uh, official Forbes photography. When it's stuff like this, I always buy genuine Mopar parts from the dealership. Uh, if y'all didn't see the last video I did on this truck, I did the window seals. They're still looking beautiful and great, and they come from Mopar as well. Gauge cluster lens here. Here's the part number for any of y'all that may be interested in getting one for yourselves. And uh, let's go ahead and get this thing opened up, and we'll get off into it. Yeah, so first off, I will tell y'all, these things are not cheap. In fact, this guy right here was just under $200. Here's the bezel from the factory. I know it's got the film on it. It's kind of hard to see. You got just a few screws that hold it together and some snap locks. We'll get into that here in a little bit, but this is it in its entirety. Um, also, what we're going to be installing today from JM Graphics that I was talking about earlier are these guys. Sorry about the wind noise if there is any. These guys right here. So these are um, some pretty cool looking modifications, one off custom stuff. Anyway, I have these rings and I also have, of course, for up top, those guys right there. So that's gonna add to the red that is all over the truck. It's gonna help bring out that red everywhere. And uh, it's also gonna, you know, kind of accent the gauge cluster a little bit so it looks a little bit different in here. All right, everything you're gonna need for this video. I have a quarter inch palm driver or uh, you can use a ratchet, it doesn't matter. Or, I mean, you can use whatever you want, right? But I got a quarter inch palm driver with a quarter inch socket. So it's quarter inch on the adapter side, quarter inch on the driver side for the nut. I have an impact bit that's a t25 torx so it's a star style and i just stick it in there and that's how i'm getting the screws out in this video also you need a seven millimeter these are my dingy sockets not my nice ones but you'll need a seven millimeter uh to get the gauge cluster out once you get this little uh frame off so anyway that's pretty much everything you need yeah you got four of those guys you got one there one there one there one there so what you want to do is take this guy up in there just like so make sure you set it to loosen and just like that and see that's why i'm using this it's real easy to get in there i can spin it real fast and we can get this thing taken apart i will explain that i haven't been on youtube very much lately as you can see uh any of y'all that see my original videos this yard has changed a lot i've been doing a lot of work here at the house uh also we are looking into moving uh me and my girlfriend and the kids and everything so we're gonna be moving real soon and we've been house shopping and stuff and life has just been crazy work has been nuts it's just been non-stop over here so i haven't had much time to do the youtube stuff and i honestly was thinking about giving up on doing youtube for a little while and i'm still kind of considering it uh just for the fact that it's not really going uh it's not trending like it was it was doing really good and it's probably because this truck is kind of outdated there's all kinds of content on trucks like these and i really haven't ventured out my channel i know i have the uh Carmel, which is sitting back over there it's all torn apart it's actually ready for a lot of stuff i have these two jet skis that i'm actually doing an engine swap whenever i get spare time uh, i also have the s10 the city sancho like i got a lot of stuff but uh trying to balance it all and uh continue with continuous uploads a real struggle with my job so i'm actually looking at getting a different job too so there's just a lot going on uh as you saw we just got a new puppy uh cora by the way cora's clips hey girl what you doing yeah yeah she heard me talking about her anyway she got parvo yeah she did but she's doing great now she's a happy dog she's healthy and she's all over instagram so chorus clips on instagram like i said i'll link her down below but anyway it's just been a lot so 
Once you get those four screws out, what you're gonna do is take this guy and just pull it towards you just like so. The bottom also snaps in, so you just kind of work your hands around the outside, just like so. And voila, we're already 50% of the way there. So you might need a long boy extension. You don't have to, but if you're weak like me, it'll help you to get a better grip to get these loosened up. I still like this palm driver a lot. Works really well when you're doing interior stuff. I have an actual impact too, like a little uh, Craftsman impact, but uh, it's at storage and, and the truck's not at storage. We're here at the house. We got that bad boy all loosened up, ready to come out. She should just pop out, fall out, maybe wired up in the back. I don't know, I've never pulled one out before. This is my first time, as you can tell. I'm sure it'll be your first time as well, so everybody learns. Uh, don't, don't take no offense to having to learn. It's common. Okay, so we're gonna have an issue with getting this dude out. We gotta figure out how that is. Just gonna kinda have to play a game with it to get it apart. There it is. There we go. All right, now we're cooking with grease, baby. Pull this guy out, there it is. All right, while I got this apart, I can see a little bit of grit and stuff on the instrument cluster. I'm probably gonna hit it with some, uh, with some air, compressed air, a little can of compressed air. Yeah, looks like that little harness, just like I thought, is tagged off right there in the corner. I'm gonna go ahead and untag that boy just so I can pull this harness out whenever I want. I don't like the fact that they did that to me. Also, while you have this apart, it's a good idea not to touch any of this stuff. You don't want to touch this stuff. Um, leave your greasy fingerprints on it. Also, this stuff is not made for finger oils. So those finger oils can, you know, kind of mess with your display and stuff and make it look dingy over time. So grab anywhere that is not going to be a visual place. And we're going to lay this guy right down. And I'm going to go ahead and pop that out. I don't want it. There it is, popped off, and we're good. Now, we can set this out on the dash. Yep, just like that. That way I can blow it off better with the air. I'm gonna wipe some of this dust and stuff off. Got a little bit of dust in here, nothing bad for a uh, five-year-old truck. So, let's go over to the tailgate real quick. We cannot separate this lens from the back half, so that's why it comes all in one piece. So what we're gonna have to do to put these rings on is we're gonna have to take our hands up into here just like so and we're gonna have to place them on without touching the lens and we'll just set them on ever so gently now it's very important that we get this lined up the first time but I think we'll do all right so with these rings they have a double-sided tape on the back just like the emblems that I have on the truck uh, this double-sided tape all you're gonna do is peel it you're gonna feed the ring up in there set it at home you got to be really careful what you're doing I'm gonna go ahead and peel this plastic off so I can see what I'm doing because this plastic is gonna make it hard for me to see right so here we go here goes the uh, ASMR peel that's over what we want to do this is going to be kind of tricky i'm very scared actually i feel like i'm going to mess this up i'm really good if it i'm one of those uh if it can go wrong it will go wrong types you know so anyway we're going to peel the double-sided tape off they don't come with instructions but it's pretty obvious what we got to do here so all right so we'll just set it in there like that yeah all right not too bad now as long as you don't put any pressure on it it doesn't stick too bad so you can unstick it just got to be careful what you're touching so you don't need fingerprints and stuff all inside your cluster hey we got it lined up for the most part i'm going to move it down just a hair more right there looks pretty good all right i'm happy with that all right i like it so we got that one stuck Next one's gonna be doing one of these little ones. I feel like that's gonna go a lot easier. Um, there's a lot more room back there. This thing's a lot smaller. And I only have one piece to worry about centering instead of both of those big ovals or big circles. So we're gonna stick this guy in here just like so. This one I should be able to show you a little bit easier. Here we go. I, I know the glare is probably killing it. 
for you guys. And we just wanna make sure we're centered up just like that. I haven't really stuck it yet. I'm just letting the adhesive grab on its own. Now I'm gonna give it some finger pressure, just like that. And we are stuck. So we got those two done. Looking pretty badass if you ask me. Gonna go ahead, stick this one. Like I said, link down in the description below. They don't just do RAM parts. They have all kinds of Mopar products, but I know he's also doing some other types and styles of parts. Uh, he's doing the custom emblems. George is looking into doing a lot more stuff, I'm sure, because this is a pretty cool little product for a kind of uncommon vehicle. Rams are common, but not as common as you would think. Okay, neat little trick. If you have a Ram and you're doing this, pinch it right here and you can pick it up. You can kind of control it. I don't know if you see me moving it, but I'm moving it however I want. It's a lot easier to line up when you pinch here because this is the part where it all needs to come together. Right there is more or less where I want to sit it. So I pulled it back in. I'm going to check it. Yep, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to take my finger in there. I'm going to hook it, my dirty finger. And I'm going to pinch it all in so it's nice and stuck. There we go. All right, we got one more ring to do. We'll be done with all the rings. And I also have a special logo there for the center. So my favorite piece, the 361 Texas. Look at that. That's pretty sick, huh, guys? That's going to go right up there in the center where it says Ram. And go right up there in the center. So let's go ahead and get that bad boy slapped on. All right, so on this one, the Ram is so raised. I'm probably going to have to pull that guy off to get this in. As a matter of fact... Probably would have been smart if I pulled all those rings off. But yeah, <laughs> stupid me. See all those little dots right there? You're supposed to use your pick and press all these pieces out. I really think that would help you out, make it a lot easier to install this stuff because then it'll just fall right on the way it's supposed to. But I kind of like the chrome accent because it kind of helps. I still have some accents that are chrome inside the truck. I'm going to leave it. That's on me. That's not on the designer. I'll, I'll, throw a, I'll throw a suggestion out there, you know, being that this is a newer product for these guys, maybe throw uh, some uh, instructions in there with it. No big deal for me. I'm going to pop this guy off. I'm going to leave this just the way it is. I like it. So I'm going to pop this guy off, though, because it's not going to stick. What I'm going to do is take my pick that I had earlier. I'm just going to use it to kind of score off some of this plastic that's melted. It's just plastic. Okay, there's one. There it is. Man, that thing's metal too. That's, they ain't skimping out on the quality of these things. All right, here we go. So we got the Ram logo out. This will just sit right in there. I'm gonna clean that little piece of debris out of there. I'm gonna use my pick to help me get it lined up. We got these, like I said, big old meat beaters. And having big hands, everybody's like, oh, must be nice. Yeah, not really. It's a pain in the ass when you like to work on things. There's a little bit of work that went into getting all this stuff the right size, I'm sure. There it is. All right, now I'm a sticker. There we go. See, that's what I should have done all along. All right, so there it is. Uh, like I said, I know it's really hard to see because of the glare on the lens but i'm happy with that we're gonna get it slapped back into the truck and we are gonna call her done uh before i do that though i'm gonna take this microfiber i got in the truck and i got a little bit of greasy handprint on the inside i'm gonna wipe that off you use a clean microfiber otherwise you're gonna be in the same condition you were with this one so now that we're done with this guy we'll set this here you can see the difference there you go there's the original i like that a lot more better it's gonna go with some of the red on the truck We'll go ahead and set this aside nicely. All right, so we're gonna grab the microfiber. Make sure to use a clean microfiber. This is brand new, like I just unboxed it earlier. And that's what you need to use when you clean these things. Don't use anything else. I'm also gonna use it to kind of make sure that I got good adhesion on all this stuff because uh, sure would suck to put this guy back together and then uh, all these pieces fall off, right? So I got good adhesion. Oh, I need to grab an air duster. Now that we got that all done, we're gonna go ahead and use the air, blow this off, go ahead and get it all prepped up. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of air. Oh, don't do that. There we 
go. Got all the dust off of there. I'm gonna go ahead and set this back down right here. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and get it semi in place because this doesn't seem like it's gonna fit all in one piece if I make it whole again. Get this guy all ready to go. This is also kind of fun. There we go. All right, now we can center it back up with the gauges. Just mind that. Grab the top, squeeze it. Yes, yes. And that's it, she is a sealed unit. We got all the clips clipped back together. I'm gonna wipe this down one last time before I seal her up. I'm gonna take that same rag I had earlier. Just a little bit of alcohol. Rubbing alcohol works fine on your microfiber for this stuff. Just give her a nice little rub down. Now that we got that bad boy installed, I'm gonna go ahead and throw my bolts back in it. And you're just gonna reverse the steps. Let me get this thing slapped back together and I'll show you the finished product. Whew. How do I look? Do I look pretty? Pretty ugly? Yeah, I know. Anyway, guys, that's it in a nutshell, man. It looks way better. I love it. It's uh, it's sharp. And especially because I'm planning on doing something with this steering wheel too, because you can kind of tell over the years it's got a little wear and tear on it. So it might tie it in with my new steering wheel. Stay subscribed for that. But I like it. I like it a lot. It adds a little bit more red to the interior and breaks it up a little bit. Gets rid of some of the chrome, man, because there is so much chrome in these trucks. And this is just a Lone Star. This isn't even a Laramie or a uh, Longhorn. But anyway, those go really good. Here, let me get you a closer shot now that everything's done. Looks like there's not even a lens in there anymore because that nice uh, scratched up one is doing its job down there. But anyway, JM Graphics, hit them up, man. This is also reflective. Like when light hits it, it reflects at nighttime. Check out Instagram, man. I'm gonna put some pictures up of that on Instagram. So other than that, we got the gauge cluster lens put on. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this uh, video does something for you. I know it's not the coolest stuff ever doing how-to videos. That's what I got. Now, before you guys go, I'm gonna give you a cold star of the old Ram here, just in case any of y'all are new to the channel or new to these videos anyway. So here we go for a cold start. There we go, nice and uh, quiet, right? Sounding real good out the back. My favorite thing about this truck is the loud mode. If I hit that button right there, it goes into loud mode. And a uh, whole totally different animal. that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe i'm gonna start doing some more youtube videos here real soon just bear with me anyway the ram still looks the same it ain't changed much other than the gauge cluster we just did but that's it for today's video hope you liked it make sure to hit that like button make sure to subscribe we'll catch you next time red 361 texas we're out Take into your hands a plan Your own hands can land your own brand And damn, I feel like no one takes accountability They want the credibility Convincingly unwilling to put in the f***ing hours It takes to get some power Don't be f***ing sour Take a cold shower Scream until you're louder Work until you're proud